a video camera in the bathroom? I wouldn't want to take a shower in here. Extra soft and fluffy three layers. A bathtub filled with bubbles, a glass of red wine, and someone to massage my back. I think I want to go home. There's no water coming out. A stationary drill. A metal bit is in it. It works! I'll take everything with me that is not on the trees by the time I count to three. A metal plate. A vice. Standard equipment in any shop that has at least half the equipment it needs. Could be a kind of master key that can be replicated in the workshop as needed. The lock is completely iced over. I can't get the key into it. A single egg is visible through the plate of glass. The machine can probably be opened with key commands. I do not know the number combination, and if I just simply break the glass, then the contents will probably be destroyed by the falling glass splinters. drill set the paper on fire. I should have learned by now that I can't simply hold metallic items into the fire without burning my fingers. In the back, a grip with rubber on it. In the front, a bent fork. Nice. I'm going to freeze to death pretty soon, but at least the key is nice and warm now. The hot key is melting the ice, so the lock is now open. What a strange design. I think I read somewhere that stuff like this was used to protect sensitive equipment from radio interference. How am I supposed to get across? Why? I assume that by entering numbers, one can extend a bridge to the room on the other side. I don't have the slightest clue what I should enter. And what happens if I enter the wrong combination too many times? I should look around for clues first. Looks like an elevator shaft. The elevator is nowhere to be seen. A freight elevator. But there doesn't appear to be a way to summon the elevator up from here. Oh, this appears to be something like a control room. And what is that down there? Problem solved? Not quite. But at least I found our saboteur. There was a terrible, regrettable accident just now. That's too bad. What's going on with the water? That isn't important right now. I need you here. Oh, 
May I introduce you to Professor Sharpenbaugh, our scientific leader. Please to meet you. Yeah, sure. Save it. We don't have time. The boss will be here soon, and I want to have everything ready to go by then. Oleg Sergei and this Nicole Charleroi seem to be like a kind of complete assembly of all the human scum on Earth. Right now, I'm really tempted to jump through the window and send all three of them to... But what are they doing down there? What kind of machine is that? I don't know for sure what is going on here, but I'm really sure that it is something quite nasty. And this I know. As soon as I get even the slightest chance, I will mess up their plans, but big. It all looks terribly complicated, at least for someone who knows frighteningly little about it. What do they need all those video recorders for? None of them has a cassette inside. A single piece of explosive is still in there. I think I'll take it with me. way outside. I'm already freezing my butt off in here, and it's not going to be any warmer out there. Ten polar bears couldn't get me out of here while I'm wearing these clothes. I think that's a water pump. It's not running, though. I assume it is responsible for the running water and the heating. That's probably why it's so cold in here. It's not making a sound. Something isn't right. Nothing is happening. Maybe the switch is broken. The freight elevator does not appear to be very stable. One of the cables has already broken, and the one next to it doesn't look like it is going to last much longer either. Maybe I can pick up one of the lighter packs. Winter clothing, that's a nice catch. Much better already. cloth bedding, a whole stack of it. Whatever am I supposed to do with it? Somebody please tell me that I'm dreaming. Just where am I? Antarctica? Nobody is ever going to find me here. I can forget about that. A huge field full of these strange things. I assume that they contain antennas, but what do you do with them? Receive signals or send signals? The power consumption of this facility must be gargantuan. A 10 liter bucket. Wow, an old whaling ship completely enclosed in ice. I wonder how long that has been here. It appears as if there had been a hole in the ice at one time, but it has frozen over almost completely in the meantime. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get the hole open again with only my bare hands. A stationary harpoon. The things have an enormous penetrative ability and a relatively large operational range. It contains whale oil. Be 
people also used to use it as lamp oil and lubricant. The jacket is frozen stiff, but it appears that there is still something in the side pocket. I don't think it will contain any vodka, but in this cold, I would be happy with whiskey too. If I only could get this damn cork out of this bottle. has soaked up fish oil. It is beastly heavy and stinks like one too. so I leave behind yet another trail of devastation. That would be enough for a lot of breakfast eggs. take some time until the salt has eaten its way through the ice. Just how did they get all that heavy equipment here? It must have been a huge logistical effort. Someone lying there. Hello? Are you hurt? Hello? I almost fear that he's dead. Funny that someone should fall into the glacier's precipice. Who probably knows his way around here. Plus, there was a warning sign. Just a moment. It could, of course, be that he had a little help when he fell. I believe these people here are capable of that. It almost looks as if they let the poor guy die in misery down there. I really have to watch out. A human life does not appear to be worth much out here. The shield was stuck in there. a small avalanche, but it didn't appear to bother the penguin. I know that robbing dead bodies is frowned upon in upper circles, but I cannot do anything for him anymore. He, however, could perhaps still be helpful. sort of way the amulet represents a head. There is a large diamond on top. It looks to be very old, and if the diamond is real, it is worth a fortune. A couple torn out pages. They're entitled Research Journal of Nicole Charleroi. I don't think that this information will help me right now, but I might at least understand better how everything ties together. Thank you. 
huge hole into the ice. There are people who prefer to jump into ice holes at minus 300 degrees, but I am definitely not one of them. The lighter could serve as a blinker substitute and lead all in one. It's definitely worth a try. That was easier than I thought it would be. A specimen of the genus, fish. to be made of metal. Why is a part like this just lying around here? And why is the penguin trying to hatch it? It doesn't like it that I stole his offspring. I'll put the egg back down. I have enough enemies here as it is. always look so simple in detective stories. Plunger on the glass, cut it with a diamond, and... It really is simple. I have no idea what animal this comes from. It's too large to be a chicken egg, but who knows what they are doing here in the station. I think they are capable of anything. The machine is also starting to work again. going to drain right out again. So, hold the cork in style. It even reasonably fits into the drain. That should stop the water from draining. Yay! The tub is full. Woohoo!
too bad, actually. It was just about to get nice and warm. I hope that the ice will hold me. The camera has been screwed on tight, but at least I could remove the strap. The video cassette from the surveillance camera in the bathroom. Oh, there is something else on the tape. A remainder of another recording. Looks like the room right next door. This Nicole Charleroi is having a discussion with a really elegantly dressed guy. Unfortunately, his back is to the camera. But I could swear that it's... What's going on down there? I heard we are ready. Yes, apart from a few small details, everything is ready. Thanks to the artifact, we were able to quickly bring the radiation fields to the desired level. So I was right. About the artifact? About you, Professor Charleroi. Your team has truly done magnificent work. And Sergei, Molly, you also deserve a lot of praise. Thank you. It was an honor for us. But enough self-congratulations. We still have a lot to do. Mankind is waiting for us to relieve them from a few decisions. Masimo Marcuso? If he's involved in this, it must be a really big thing. And if he goes to the ends of the world just for this, then I'd rather not dwell on how big this thing is. Realistically, there are only two possibilities. Either I make sure there is a super big noise, or I die clandestinely, quietly, and unnoticed. And since I definitely do not feel like dying, I should think of something that makes a huge kaboom. Only I probably won't be able to do much by myself. I need help, and I need it fast. Two, five, one, three. Done it. I wonder what is waiting for me in that room over there. something in the close vicinity of the research station, most likely an airplane. Maybe they can come and get me out of here. I just have to get their attention somehow. Full of fireworks. I think I'll take a couple with me, and probably the matches too. Flares. I assume that they are used to mark the landing spot for helicopters and airplanes. burn well, but the fuse doesn't. It probably got wet at some point in time. Hopefully the fuses will work again if I pour the whale oil over them. Thank you.
It's not what you think. Typical statement from a man. They aren't our enemies. They want to help us. I've had my fill lately of people who allegedly want to help me. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry about Oleg. How did you know? Later. These men have brought me here to... So you were in cahoots with them. They're the same guys who were seen in the museum by the janitor and the little girl when my father was kidnapped, right? Yes, and the sect did actually kidnap your father. But for his own protection. Don't worry. He's fine. For his protection? From people like you? You played me for a sucker and were working with these guys the entire time. No. When I got back from Ireland, the sect also kidnapped me. Then they explain how everything fits together. I've never seen these guys before that. You have to believe me. Do I? During his investigation into the Tunguska catastrophe, your father stumbled onto something that has to be kept secret at all costs. The sect has done everything it can to make sure this secret doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And what is that? The people believe that they are the offspring of aliens from outer space. Oh, God. And the Tunguska catastrophe was caused by a nuclear-powered interstellar spaceship that crashed while trying to rescue its last living survivors from Earth. Bullshit! Psst. Don't tell me you believe that. I don't know what I should believe anymore. Do you remember your encounter with the sect? In Tunguska? Yes. It was pretty weird. The fact is that in the summer of 1908, an unidentified object was annihilated in a detonation as powerful as a modern hydrogen bomb. But they found no crater and no remains. Then these strange fragments appeared years later. Your father examined them and discovered that they were made from materials that didn't come from Earth, but were processed. The Kalenkov report? Exactly. Then the military got a hold of the material, and your father was prohibited from doing any more research. When he and Manuel Perez took off again for the Tunguska region, Perez accidentally became a victim of an experiment that the military was conducting with the extraterrestrial object there. Your father realizes how dangerous the material is, but he continues to do research despite, or maybe because of it, until he comes across evidence of the Zopa, whose abandoned caves he discovers in China. There he discovers artifacts that consist of the same extraterrestrial material as the fragments from the Tunguska region. A strange connection, don't you think? And one of the artifacts is here now, delivered personally by Nina Kulenkov. The station belongs to a man named Massimo Gattuso. Have you ever heard his name before? Billionaire. Divorced three times. Devastatingly handsome. You can ask him for an autograph in a second. What? He's here. I saw him below in the station. Hopefully we aren't too late. He bought shares in all the telecommunication companies through middlemen and will soon control the entire mobile network. So what? Are you afraid that the prices per minute will go up? Be serious for a second, Nina. Don't you have any idea what they're planning here? Think about Perez's accident, the psychiatric clinic in Cuba, the French female scientist, and the Russians' animal experiments. Give me a hint. They are working on a technology that will manipulate thoughts. Oh, come on. First you come to me with, with these aliens, and now this? It sounds inconceivable, I know. But research into this technology is nothing new. As far as I know, no one has been successful yet. But with this extraterrestrial material, do you think that Massimo Gartuso will go to so much trouble if the artifact was merely of value archaeologically? The sect believes that he is about to implement this technology. And you can imagine what will happen then. So... Do you trust these people? More than I trust this Gartuso. And what are you planning to do? The sect will take care of detonating the transmitter, and we have to find a way to disrupt the experiment itself. Are you familiar with the layout in there? Is there maybe a control room or something like that? Sure. Follow me and try to be inconspicuous. Yes, sir. Oh, before I forget, I found your cell phone in the caves in China. I thought you'd probably need it. In case you want to call me after all this is finished. I know your number by heart. So, the elevator should be working again. But maybe we should wait until the sect members have detonated the antenna. And if not, 
we still have the element of surprise on our side. So you really want to go down there? Yes. Now let's go. Damn, what just happened? The elevator appears to still be working, as do some of the doors, but I can't open the other ones. Nina, can you hear me? Just great. I have to get the doors open as soon as possible or we'll have a real problem. We've had more than enough of those already. Hopefully Nina will wait for me and won't do anything stupid. But if I know her, she probably will. Max doesn't seem to hear me through the door. Now what? Hopefully he'll get the door open again. But I can't really wait for him to do it. We have no time to lose. Maybe that elevator still works. Then I can look around a little downstairs. A radiator. The radiator feels cold. Someone took the knob that opens and closes the vent. There's just a rod left now. I can't open or close the valve with my bare hands. One of the surveillance cameras. Hopefully Max is constantly checking the monitors in the control room. I hear voices behind that door. As long as I don't have an army behind me, I really shouldn't go in there. What an enormous icicle. The tube leads through the wall into the hallway. The tube leads through the wall into the hallway. An iron chain hanging in the middle of the room. No idea what that's good for. In some places where the walls have cracked, the ice is visible behind the walls. We must therefore be below sea level. There are two labels on it. Danger, explosive, and do not bring in contact with water. For such dangerous stuff, that bat sure doesn't make a stable impression. Hopefully the lid won't open. A wrench. I can't think of anything more to say on that subject. The sign warns that contact with water could trigger chemical reactions. The pain is so brittle that it crumbles just looking at it. The paint stuck to the silicone. With a little imagination, you can see the sign again. I'd better not touch it. The labels on it promise a lot of trouble if I do. And I have more than enough of that already. I wedged the icicle between the pipes. The nut broke from the mounting bracket of the pipes. I threaded the rod. I turned the nut along the thread. That's it then. The vent is open. The radiator is gurgling and is cold. I guess there isn't enough water in the pipes. If 
my plan works and Max understands my clues, the heater will get warm and so will the pipes with the icicle between them. When it melts and slides out of the pipes, it will hopefully push the vat from the shelf onto the floor. And as soon as the vat cover opens and the highly explosive chemical comes into contact with the ice on the floor, it will go kaboom, a great fuse. If I could somehow get out of here, I should close the valve again afterwards, otherwise this whole joint will blow with me and Max inside. Water? Heat? There's no water in the heating unit? I hope that was the right switch. So, that should have been it. There seems to be enough water in it now. But the radiator is still not heating up. There's no flame lit in the heating unit? Well, then let's look for the right button that fires it up. So, that should have been it. Ah, damn it! Nina, look out! So I did hear right. The lady did actually manage to free herself. Well then, come along. The boss is already eagerly waiting to make your acquaintance. Ah, Miss Kalinkov, we finally meet in person. Please excuse my bad manners. I would have introduced myself much sooner, but as you can see, I'm under quite a bit of stress. Kidnapping, aggravated assault, and whatever else you order to do. So you're considering that good form? No, but special circumstances unfortunately demand special measures. But since you are already here, may I offer you a front row seat for the world premiere? Thanks, but I'm not interested. Then you'll really be missing something. You will witness how my new marketing measures will lead humanity into a happier future. I can't wait. As you should. I'm sure you're familiar with it. You spend days thinking about which dress you should buy, and then you have a fight with your boyfriend about whether you should buy the red or the green couch. I don't need a couch, and certainly not a green one. I will relieve humanity from these problems in the future. Through brainwashing? I call it help in decision making. It will not only save people a lot of trouble, but they will also have more time to concentrate on really important things. I have to admit, you're even sicker than I thought. All you care about is selling your products. You don't give a shit about the people. What a shame that you don't appreciate my plans. Don't worry, though. You won't be in the position to take offense. And now, if you'll please excuse me, I have to prepare for the first test run. And if I can offer you a word of advice, be happy that you will be allowed to witness this spectacle. It would be a shame if you couldn't enjoy your last hours on Earth, wouldn't it? It can't be much longer until the icicle slips from the pipe. I have to get out of here, fast! I would like... Quiet! Professor Charleroi has to concentrate. Miss Charleroi? Shut your mouth or Sergei will shut it for you. In case you're interested, a sect has just arrived. They're about to destroy your equipment on the surface. Yeah, sure. Who is leading them? Superheroes who are saving the world? I'm serious. I think you're missing my point. And now please excuse me. I don't have time to talk. To build all these devices here at the edge of the world, that must have been a huge effort. What's it all for? The equipment is extremely sensitive. Do you see the big display back there? It's hard to overlook. The project is strictly monitored because incorrect radiation could lead to a malfunction. We've therefore played it safe and built part of the complex on the ground. I think I may have something you've been looking for. Oh, apart from the water pump? Thank you very much. We will reward you with a painless death. How friendly of you. Oleg, put that thing back in there quickly so that it's nice and warm again up in the station when we celebrate our triumph. Okay. You will watch our guest of honor. I don't think that our princess wants to run away, do you? No, of course not. It's terribly comfortable here.
Massimo wants to realize his sick plans with it. I won't be able to get there unnoticed. Max must be up there. Hopefully they haven't caught him yet. I won't be able to get there unnoticed. One of those monitoring cameras again. some interfering radiation here somewhere. If we don't get it under control quickly, we'll have to stop the experiment. You mean escape using the crane? We'll see if that goes well. But I don't have a better idea, so let's give it a shot. Good luck, Nina. It's getting warm up there. The champagne is being chilled. This means that there is nothing standing in the way of our party. The celebration will have to wait. We have some serious problems here. Sorry that I was wrong about you, but Oleg was very convincing and- That's okay. I'm a man. I don't hold a grudge. Come on, we've got to get to the airplane. The people from the sector are probably already waiting for us. Nina's father tried for months to scientifically prove what had happened. However, he eventually gave up, knowing that there are some things that just can't be explained with formulas. Still, or perhaps because of that, a small film company is very interested in his story. After his encounter with the sect, Eddie, the janitor, immediately started attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and has been sober ever since. He is using his striking voice doing voiceovers for goblins in video games. Lisa originally wanted to become a photographer, but she was unsuccessful due to the fact that she couldn't manage to change the batteries in the camera. Her new career as a bike courier also ended suddenly after just two hours and her first flat tire, because no one patched the tire for her. She is now selling magnetic microwave hamsters from a small stand in Berlin. When the police arrived at the museum, Kansky's body had disappeared. As Max realized when he saw the amulet, the commissioner was a member of the mysterious sect, which no one has heard from since their intervention in Antarctica. The sect's motives remain a mystery. Were their actions really for the benefit of mankind? 
And have they really disappeared? The sanitation worker noticed Nina's lie just in time and didn't quit his job. One week later, he actually did win the lottery, divorced his wife, and has lived happily ever since. Conductor Carplin's unpunctuality cost him his job. However, German Railways was thrilled to hire him. He now works the daily Hamburg-Bielefeld route. After another 2,376 cigarette breaks together, soldiers Romanova and Yushin decided to quit smoking. They now spend their time sticking nicotine patches to various areas on each other's bodies. However, rumors of an upcoming wedding could not be confirmed. Agents Fetisov and Radinkov left the Secret Service to open a boutique in Moscow that features tailor-made suits. None of the passengers died in the dramatic train wreck, which looked worse than it was. The scientists are still puzzling over the strange results of the plant analysis that Nina so brilliantly manipulated. The Doberman Pinscher took advantage of the opportunity to escape and is currently following in the footsteps of one of his ancestors and terrorizing the moors of England. Barkeeper O'Brien was hit by a drunken truck driver in front of his pub, quit his job, and has been teaching rhetoric at the University of Dublin. The fisherman's doctor urgently recommended he pay better attention to his health. He now only fishes when the sun is shining, in other words, twice a year, and has switched to drinking single malt scotch whiskey. Klaus lost his home when the pub closed. He wandered around homeless and without a goal for months until he finally discovered his purpose in life and a place to stay in the small German town of Geisthacht. He is now a game designer for graphic adventures. Fernando, the gatekeeper, is currently working on his latest series of paintings, the 1,000 extremely different growth stages of the date palm tree. Thanks to her untiring physical efforts, Sister Sabrina actually won the mayoral election. However, she had to resign nine months later to take care of her baby. Shortly after his efforts in the inner courtyard, Puyol, the patient, set the world record in building a house of cards. Since then, he has appeared in numerous TV talk shows, babbling nonsense and earning money, hand over fist. However, we strongly oppose the extremely malicious insinuation that this career path is a general prerequisite for a career in television. Ramon builds strange figures out of shells based on Manuel Perez's even stranger drawings and sells them to tourists for exorbitant amounts of money. The villainous quartet was literally put on ice for a very long time. As a result, large-scale mind control continues to be reserved for a very popular, massively multiplayer online role-playing game. The contracts are signed and sealed. You can look forward to seeing your favorite characters again in Secret Files 2. Yeah? Have I thanked you yet? No, I don't think so. Hmm. The plane must have an autopilot function. Camera's rolling. And I'd like to help you, too. I don't need to go to bed anymore anyway, and I can always sleep when I'm dead. So, if I can do something for you... That's really nice. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my line. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> you know the difference between me and you? I make this look good. Cut! Just because I'm filming a shitty film for some shitty people doesn't mean that I enjoy being an actor. 
I was not outstanding, and I was not exceptional. I was monumental. I was epochal. Camera's rolling. <laughs> Prop guy, please bring the big iron bar this time. What a comedian. Camera's rolling. Hmm. If my eyes don't deceive me, the stodgy could now look a lot like... Cut! <laughs> I can't stand taking the train, sorry. Let's film the scene again. 